This is a layout that I recently made of my kids playing in the snow, and I wanted it to have that wood background, um, but I wanted it to be a certain color, and so I want to teach you how I made my own wood background. So what I did is I just took some white daisy cardstock and my scoreboard, and I made my wood slats um, just kind of random. So all I'm doing is running my um, scoring tip my bone folder down the score lines just randomly you could do them at specific intervals and it would look great as well um, and if you don't have a scoreboard you can use like a paper trimmer or you could even use a ruler and an embossing tool um, just anything that'll give it a little bit of a raised edge so that's what I'm doing here and then I'll flip it around because my scoreboard's only so wide um, and so I'll speed up the video here while I finish that up now that I have all my lines in, I'm ready to make the wood grain effect. And you guys, this is so easy. So I'm using two different colors of ink. I have mink and linen. You can use whatever colors that you want. And all I'm doing is I'm swiping my ink directly on my paper in the same direction as my vertical lines that I just scored. So I'm gonna add one color. You can go as dark or as light as you want. Um, and you'll kind of see that I'm starting to get that wood grain effect. Um, so, and then once I'm done with this color, then I'll do the other color also. It just kind of gives a little bit of variance to it. Um, and that is all there is to it. It seriously is so easy. I just want to give credit to the Close to My Heart maker who taught this. Her name is Tanya Roberts, and she shared this in our Close to My Heart Facebook uh, makers group so pretty cool and I'm so grateful to her here's a couple photos of that layout again just so you can see it done thanks so much for watching I hope you learned something new